everyone, this is Mr. Brass, and yeah, I'm just walking back today, and I had some interesting news just to share with you guys. This has been developing in my mind for quite a while now, and I thought I would share it with you. Oh, oh. I no longer want to be considered uh, pro-life. I want to be considered an abortion abolitionist or anti-abortion. The reason why for this change, even though I will still be a part of pro-life forums and the like, I... The reason why I'm not going to call myself pro-life, really, is because there are principal people that will say, well, if you're pro-life, you won't, you can't be for the death penalty, or you can't be, you know, a carnivore, or, you know, have no, you must have issues with eating meat, and... I say no. Now, after having that done a lot of times, and, you know, many people say that if you are pro-life, you have to support all these social programs that are said to extend life, and I'm like, no, I don't. Uh, so, I have just sort of came to the conclusion that I find the term abortion abolitionist or, you know, a person that believes abortion should be illegal and, a, and that abortion laws should be abolished. And I believe saying I am anti-abortion will, you know, it conveys much more who I am. And what I stand for. I hope this doesn't really burn bridges that I have with the pro-life community. But, you know, I really don't have it in me to say that I care about non-human animals. I just simply don't. I care about as much about non-human animals as I care about a plant getting getting cut off. Like a plant getting its leaves cut off. I just simply don't care one way or the other. And I consider myself politically libertarian. Which means that, you know, I'm against many social, these so-called helping social programs on the basis that they enter they are against liberty well that is all for today this is Mr. Brass saying goodbye and get wise